This is WENY News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. Opening statements will begin this morning in the Thomas Clayton murder trial. Jury selection wrapped up yesterday when 11 men and four women were chosen. Three of those jurors are backups. Thomas Clayton is accused of hiring Michael Beard to kill his wife Kelly Clayton in September of 2015. Opening statements will begin at 930 this morning. Stay with WENY News throughout the day for continuing coverage from the courtroom. We had some breaking news overnight. Senate Republicans have kick-started their plan to repeal and replace Obamacare. After an overnight marathon, they approved a budget blueprint with a 51 to 48 vote around 1 o'clock this morning. While Republicans insisted the measure is necessary, Democratic leaders like Senator Bernie Sanders warned that thousands of people will die if Obamacare is repealed. The House is expected to vote as early as tomorrow, which may lead to creating drafts of a second bill to roll back parts of Obamacare. It will be weeks before Congress votes on the bill, though, but this move is a big step in the GOP-led effort to overhaul the health care system. There are still questions about how Senate Republicans plan to replace Obamacare. If you live in Tompkins County, you know a thing or two about energy, and lawmakers could use your help. Earlier this month, county, the county legislature established its energy task force. They're now looking for members. The new force will be responsible for guiding other community groups on topics such as energy, climate change, and economic development. The task force will be made up of 15 to 20 people. Members will hold a three-year term. If you're interested, you can apply on the county's website no later than January 30th. Community members in Elmira will come together next week to celebrate diversity and a famous leader in our nation's civil rights movement. Monday is the 19th annual Together We Dine Community Dinner. It's hosted by Elmira's Economic Opportunity Program. The dinner honors Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday, and organizers say it's also a great way to bring people in the community together to break bread. But I think it's just a way to bring communities together and pause and reflect on what you have to be thankful for and really all the changes and all of the diversity because it's really special to have diversity in your communities. The dinner runs from noon to 2 o'clock Monday at the Ernie Davis Community Center in Elmira. Besides the big meal, there will also be musical performances and some dancing. EOP says they're also always looking for volunteers or food donations if you would like to help. We'll put their contact information on our website for you. And a famous rocker will soon be coming to the Southern Tier. Bon Jovi will take the stage as the headliner for the 11th annual Dick's Sporting Goods Open. The event is put on by Broome County Community Charities and is set for Friday, August 18th on the McIntosh Soundstage in Vestal. Tickets will go on sale on Ticketmaster on Friday, January 20th. Now let's send it over to Craig Flint for a look at today's forecast. Hey, Craig. Bon Jovi still rocking it, man. That's going to be awesome. So here's your forecast day rain. That's what we've got for you. Occasional rain, steady at times, breezy, unusually warm. If you're curious, the record high is 53. We're forecasting a record high today, a new record high anyway, 55. Then the colder air deepens tonight, settles in. Rain flips to some flurries before ending with a low near 30. So your forecast then over the northern tier today. Rain comes through and look at the numbers. Mansfield, Wellsboro, Galton, Sayre, Tawanda, all in the 50s today. And I think that's too low. I think we're probably going to be... 55, 56, maybe even 57 with some rain moving through. 54 in Corning, maybe a few degrees better than that in Corning. And then over the Finger Lakes, breezy, unusually warm with occasional rain, steady at times. And by the way, there's even the chance for a thunderstorm today. And that's because there's a cold front lining up right here that will be coming through. And notice what's happening this morning. See these darker shades of yellow right here and even some orange, that steady rain, heavy at times. And again, maybe even a rumble of thunder or flash of lightning today. Colder air starts to fill in behind it. That's why rain will end as some flurries tonight. There will be some scattered snow around on Friday. Temperatures falling from 32 into the 20s. Developing flurries or light snow Saturday. No biggie. 29.
quiet day Sunday, 35. And then we go back above normal again into next week. Martin Luther King Jr. Day, sun to clouds, 40. Tuesday, wet at times, 44. Scattered showers Wednesday. The high near 50 as our La Nina winter rolls on. Leanne. Yeah, that roller coaster. All right, thanks, Craig. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5 6 and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Have a great day.